Last week's ruling by the High Court declaring the Constituency Development Fund unconstitutional appears to have set off another political storm putting the MPs at catch 22. And appearing so stung by the ruling, members of parliament have vowed to do everything in their power to retain the CDF that has their political lifeline. What has befallen CDF is what I would consider judicial activism. There is a feeling in this country that anything associated with the, the National Assembly is bad. CDF has to be here and here to stay. We are doing roads, we are doing water, we are doing hospitals, eh, schools, bursaries. You know, <laughs> so who will be doing that if the member of parliament will not do it? People should not really worry so much about uh, CDF going anywhere. It is not going anywhere. CDF is probably the most tangible uh, development fund that Kenyans have ever experienced. The schools that you see around in the, in, 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 in the countryside, the hospitals, health centers, all those facilities that you see uh, um, have been developed as a result of CDF. Ever since the ruling was delivered, MPs undertook to challenge the matter through the appellate process and undertaking they are willing to achieve through personal contributions to enlist the services of cream of lawyers in the country to ensure its success. If I'm called upon to support a further effort to bring on board other lawyers, and this for me is a cause that I cannot shy away from. If I'm asked, I will contribute uh, for that extension. But um, I've not heard that members are contributing, but it's good to contribute so that this thing doesn't uh, disappear abruptly. But if they are defeated at the corridors of justice, the legislators have vowed to take it to the court of public opinion, threatening to spearhead a referendum drive of their own. Let us put it as a question on its own in the referendum. The members of parliament come up with a question and we put it on the referendum. I'm certain Kenyans will say we need the referendum, we need the referendum for CDF and the CDF to remain with members of parliament. If the issue of amending the constitution to entrench CDF is taken to Kenyans, I can tell you they are going to do it. And one of the questions I will propose in that uh, referendum is whether or not uh, the development funding or most of the funding that is going to, 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 to the county governments should not be diverted to the CDF. I am bold and brave enough to say that even if it means sending Kenyans to a referendum, we will send them to a referendum to ensure that CDF is fully anchored in the constitution permanently and for, for good for it to stay. According to the legislators,